Hey guys, welcome back to another adventure with Laszlo's Vintage BBG. Um, gonna try something new. Did a little bit of Volkswagen pick-in. Also have a mic on, so hope it's working. Otherwise, I'm gonna be pissed. But, well, let's see what we got. A buddy of mine called me and said, hey, I got a deck lid, a couple old suitcases, and some Volkswagen parts. Come on over. I said, sure. Um, before we get to all that, wanted to ask you guys to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell. I'm trying to get better at this. I really love doing this. I hope you guys appreciate it. Please let me know down in the comments. Um, it's good for my mental, meaning that it's just good to be doing stuff and not worrying about all kinds of crazy things. Well, let's get going. I'm sure you want to see these parts. Well, here we go. Here we are. Let's open this up. It's a little bit windy, so hopefully the microphone's helping with that. So it started with a couple of suitcases. So I'll show you guys those first. Here's one, pretty cool. Has all these vintage stickers. I'm gonna try to do some research and see if this is a repop of one, but it's got a nice old date on here, AGP, nice and decent. This is a good accessory to put in your Volkswagen, your bus, square back, bug, any of that. Um, these items, I buy them. My friends know I buy them from them. The people I buy them, they know that I have to resell them to keep my other Volkswagens on the road. Here's another cool one. It says Jarnet. I don't know. It's got a little handle, but something cool. Nothing special, but nice. Those are my trash cans falling down in the background. My friend is an artist. So he had this from a 68 to, I believe, 71 bay window. He painted it, did a little peace sign, and then there's some hearts over here. Pretty cool, man. I said he just had it hanging on his wall, so I like it. Let's see what's in the first crate. Look like we got some Volkswagen hubcaps. These look like they are aftermarket ones if you look real close aftermarket there is usually not a knob so on a real one there'll be like a little part that sticks out and i'll show you on a, a real one aye, aye, aye. so sophia stop leave the kitty alone so here is a real one and it's real hard to see. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but literally right there, there's a nub and there's like two or three of those. That means they're original Volkswagen hubcaps. These are pretty nice right here. You can see a nice set. They're getting harder to find. And also since Volkswagen has just getting harder and harder to find on these Volks Whoa. Volkswagen hubcaps. So got a couple sets of those. You can hear the wind is really kicking up. This is also a nice box of parts. Sort of sucks. This was a bus mirror, but somebody broke the glass out of it. That's okay. Um, a lot of small nuts, small different things for like bus handles. A whole bunch of cool windshield wipers. I actually need these for one of my bugs or bus. Um, there's a lot of things in here that I actually need, which is pretty awesome. Came with some hinges. These are always good to have. They break a lot. Um, one of the cool things I saw was these old seat belts here. I actually need them for the, the 58 project that I've been working on. And it's cool that they got the little Wolfsburg crest in there. So sort of cool. I'm, I'm excited because I can actually use that stuff besides selling a few items. Um, here's one of the, the better boxes that was in here. Came with a nice, on the look, yeah, it's got the part number right on the back. That's another thing I don't know if you guys know, but if you look right in here, hopefully the camera can pick that up. How it says 211, that means it's for a bus. If it starts with 113, it's usually for a bug. So this is for a bay window. Already has the key, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Here's a couple... There's another bay handle, a couple split inner handles, or they could be bay. Um... This is always something cool to find in ignition. Also on the ignitions, there's numbers on the back, which will tell you where it's from. So like this one says right here, 1564. Don't know if you can pick that up or not in the camera, but that's cool. This is a hard to find item. This is a ribbed 
door handle. So this is going to be 1955 and earlier. So 47, 49 to 55. That's anywhere from like a $50 piece. I don't think this is Volkswagen, but it's in there. Um, hi, how are you guys? My neighbors just got home. Some other cool little handles. This is for a split bus, like 50, no, not 50, 65, 66, and 67. So stoked about those parts. We're going to put this one down because I showed you guys already. A um, couple other cool items that came was... In here, this right here is for obviously an antenna for a bus, a little bit bent, but that's okay, I can fix that. Um, this right here is for, I believe, bay window on the back. I believe this is the rod that goes up on the back window, which is cool. These are jail bar parts for, and it looks like for a non, not a split window bus, but it looks like they're longer, so probably a 21 window. So that's cool, not a 23 because this would be smaller because of the hatch. But those are pretty cool parts right there to have. Um, going through this box right here, another solid little box of things. We got bay window lights, some Porsche alloy hubcap, I mean, uh, not hubcaps lug nuts i always like to little boxes like this because it's always good to have nuts and bolts because when you need them you got to spend time going to whatever hardware store to go find that stuff becomes a pain in the you know what this is for bay window also um all kinds of little things so so far i'm finding some really cool stuff that i can use i think this is a strap that's broken for like a battery hold down Sort of cool, though. Um, in here, a whole bag full of light switches and all kinds of things for split, bay window, and stuff like that. So that's pretty awesome. Um, cool old box. You know, this is going to be newer Volkswagen because it's shared with Audi. Um, if it was an older or like split bus or early bugs 68 and back it would just be volkswagens i believe only um lots of cool little items in here this is a little looks like it's a repop but that's okay little cover for the rear hatch that slides over when you put your key in there for a bus um this is one a cool item i i always have people asking me for these and this one is real nice and clean. This is a block off plate for early bus. And it looks to me like it's original paint and off white. You can see here, see on the back. Um, I'm assuming it's original paint because the way it looks. Um, also way more little small things, small items, some deluxe uh, discussion or discussion rings for your door handles for bus. These are also hard to find. These are early like meaning 57 58 and down if you see it has a small thread for like your light switch um your wiper your wiper switch all kinds of things like that so i'm just going through this stuff quick i don't want to have to go through detail but just showing you cool some cool items you know in here looks like it might be the bolts and stuff for the um, seat belts that I was looking for. I don't know what's in here, but cool. A couple other little things, some more nuts and bolts. So this is all stuff that I enjoy going through. Um, another piece of trim, I don't know, for a bug maybe. This one up here, I'm not going to bore you guys too much with it. Um, looks like a couple regulators. Um, a uh, Bowden tube, a whole bunch of cables. Um, but here's a good good score right here. These are getting harder and harder to find. Um, they don't look like much, but they're patina for split bus. Uh, 
um you have a patina bus you don't want to put something brand new white bright on there also the bumpers were never they they are white but it's an off white they were never painted bright white so if you see it bright bright white even on the deluxe it's painted wrong hate to tell you if you're liking what you're seeing don't forget to like and subscribe if you have any questions or i something wrong that i might have pointed out or um, something i said you have a question about please always ask i'm always here to try to help and answer questions because i'm still learning i think with anybody that's doing volkswagens you're always learning some more seat belts a new throw out bearing um uh oh there's some original inside here original um jacks that are complete so that's pretty cool people always like this stuff um what's cool has a part number so i can tell you exactly what it is i believe this is from the air cleaner to the oil breather easy little one um sort of cool there was two of them hopefully i can find the other one in here uh-oh Doing a couple little Hot Wheels he had. This is a Type 34 Carmagia. My buddy has one of these cars, but not a convertible. So I think I have an extra. I'm going to give this to him. So we'll move this one down. We got a few more. Um, like I said, I'm just going through it pretty fast. Um, these are pretty cool items. Um, if you look at these, it doesn't look like anything too special, but these are bus, and he told me these are from a 1967 bus. So I'm gonna do some research to make sure. If they are, um, I don't know if you know, split buses, they're usually broken up by years. 67 is a one year only bus. Um, one of the only split window buses that was 12 volt from the factory, which is pretty cool. So there's a lot of specific things, especially like if it was a deluxe, the clock is stamped 12 volt and stamped sorry 1967 and is 12 volt so a lot of people that want to make their bus specific they have to get those exact parts if you go that far for me i don't have to be 100 percent specific i just have what i have and do the best i can um cool things in safari windows my friend was really a stickler so he had all these repop ones i think you guys can see them in there well he found original ones for his bus so he switched it out me i would have just used these so that's okay with me um let's see this is pretty cool right here this is a split window and bay window these are to hold your middle seat and back seat down see how big these wing nuts are um also too they make fake ones of those you can see this is like a pot metal one you tighten this down too tight it'll crack and you might go flying this is what an original one looks like you can see how this is like i believe just iron also in your middle seat and back seat i believe there's a hole that this goes into and real real close hopefully it'll pick it up in the camera you can see right there it actually has a part number so there's a whole bag of these, so I'm super stoked about that because that's some good stuff right there. Um, some pop-out window frames. He, like I said, was a stickler for super, super nice. Some pop-out window latches. When I saw this in like the picture he was sending me, I was like, survival pack. I'm like, what's going to be in here? This is going to be cool. Well, it was cool. It wasn't survivor pack stuff, but that's okay. Um, I believe this is a, for a convertible bug or gear. Um, a whole bunch of little parts for pop-out latches. Those are always wanted. There's some good ones. There's some, like this is a fully functional one. It looks, now nah, that's broken. Looks like mostly parts in here, but that's okay because people want to save their original ones. And so they need parts. So this will be good for me at the swap meet to sell, trade, do whatever I got to do with it. But... This is also a part that's often thrown away and hard to find. This is a check strap for your cargo door. It goes down so when you open your cargo door, it doesn't just slam open and slam all the way around. I believe this is a piece of it that goes on the door. The part on your actual bus has a hole in it with a little metal thing that slides out so you can take it out if you want to open the door fully at the time. So say if you're camping and you want the door all the way open, 
that's sort of cool but a whole bunch of little pieces and stuff and all kinds of stuff like that that i can definitely use and definitely can sell and um also there's some stationary bus glass in here um which is always cool we're getting down to the end um these were some cool items i don't believe they are just specific for volkswagen but i've seen them a lot on volkswagens these are like a, a surfer rack you can put on your bus. A lot of people would put bungee cords on top so you could slide your board underneath it. And then you would run a piece of foam. I think they did these for all kinds of vans back in the day. But the cool thing about this is that it has the actual keys for the locks. People love to have these on their buses just for putting stuff up. So that was a pretty good score. Um, looks like some headliner bows, piece to a split door. Um, these are underneath your bus. These are going to be the transmission shift rods on buses. This is the one you always have to change out. This can be a pain in the... So, all right, let's see what else. It looks like I missed a piece of trim in here. Let's see. This is nice and thin. This might be for like a hood of the bug, maybe. Not a hundred. Um, there's a couple more things. A bag, don't litter. Like I said, just trying to go through this fast so don't have to keep you guys on here too long. Um, another miscellaneous uh, bus rubber, which is always good. This is German when it's gray. When it's black, it's usually not German. But a whole bunch of little seals that can be used. Um, more things for the shifter. For those shifters it looks like um i don't know what that is maybe something for a thing a uh, whole bunch of rubbers for bus like i said so that's a cool little box right there um definitely can use some of that stuff this one is another cool little box he changed he restored a bus so he took his original bus uh sun visors off how you can tell they're for a split bus if you look down here there's three holes that bolted on so when it's up here there'll be three holes on a bug there's only two um that's how i always been taught and that's how i've done it for many many years so some split bus sun visors pretty cool um in this not much good stuff there a lot of brake parts and stuff like that um, but there was something cool if you're into that vintage stuff there's a clifford alarm hooked up to this old school pull out kenwood tape player come on now if you were like me and you had those mini trucks in those days you'd be all about this kenwood right now all about it so we'll push that over um one other thing that did come with it which was cool is this right here this is a tow bar the guy sells them this is for split bus and bay window he sells them on the samba for like 425 bucks i actually have one so this is an extra one um i actually this one's been welded on to make it stronger so i'm probably gonna sell this one my other one i actually welded on it too and cut a little piece so i could actually use it on my bug too so it's multi-purpose i can use it for almost everything except for a super beetle and a type 3 this is going to be the last box um a whole bunch of tail lights some for bus tail light housings a lot of them are repop and stuff like that but that's okay um this is one of the best things in here if you're you're like me we want og this are real german for split bus mirrors if you look real real close i don't know if the camera will get it like i was saying earlier there's a 211 number so right here this is what people like me and other people i know are looking for they want that og even this is super super cool this is an old school looks like original maybe original for a ground strap this right here some old vintage original lenses with 
Wow, GHE, that's even older. So this is for early bus with the GHE. This is like, a, I would say 59 or 1960 and older. A um, couple other little things. There's definitely some repop stuff in here, but that's okay. This is one of my favorite boxes right here in the whole, the whole deal. Um, talked about that. Last but not least, I don't even know. This looks like we're going to see another box of just smalls, which is always good to have. Some nuts, some bolts, some different things we can always use. Um, one more cool thing I'm going to show you before I let you guys get out of here. I think that's it for this box. Um, yeah, looks like that's going to be it. Like I said, this is a really cool bus, tow bar, split bus, bay window. You can also cut it a tiny bit here and you can make it work on a bug. In the back back there, he also had a nice bus car cover. Very, very hard to find. I'm going to do a little walk with you guys real quick and show you a little up close. And then uh, I'm going to let you guys get out of here. Sorry 